Rory McIlroy, his swing is absolutely phenomenal. It's widely regarded as one of the prettiest swings in the game of golf. He's got such fluid action and such good rhythm. And for me, what's really fantastic about Rory's swing is this position here, his finish position. You'll always see him holding that finish, swinging upwards of 125 miles an hour with the driver, and he's able to hold that finish. You'll see guys like Bryson or some of the other guys, and they're flailing away at the club when they finish. They're all off balance, whereas Rory just holds that, and he's just phenomenal. So we'll have a look. We've got a couple of swings of Rory. One here where he's going after some ball speed, and another one where he's just practicing driver. So if we take a note firstly of Rory's setup, just a fantastic setup position. He's nice and tilted with those hips. So if we were to draw a line out here, there's a nice tilt where the belt buckle's pointing down almost towards the ball. He's got a little bit of knee flexion and then he's nice neutral spine there. There's not a lot of excessive curve in the lumbar spine or excessive kyphosis in the thoracic spine just a really nice position his arms are hanging just slightly in front of his shoulders that <coughs> that's something where rory sits and um, sometimes that can can get him a little bit funky in his takeaway but overall just a really nice setup position from down the line if we look face on you'll see that he's got a really nice wide stance this is something that i constantly highlight he's got these feet flared out just a touch that enables him to work around the hips in the correct manner if we get these two square it just just starts to make the hips a little bit inefficient in the way they move for how the hip socket sits so that's a really good take home that you guys watching can look at just flare those hips out ball position just off the heel and then rory sets up with a little bit of tilt almost a little bit of tilt in the shaft not massive and with his head behind the ball, which enables him to get that upward angle of attack. Rory's one of the guys that is really efficient with driver swings, sometimes five, six degrees up on the ball, that enables him to hit those high, high balls that don't spin a lot, but also with that high club head speed, they just go an absolute mile. So we've looked pretty much at his setup as just, just really textbook. I'd probably say sometimes he can get his hands a little bit too far out, but we're nitpicking. So let's draw some nice lines on there. Where Rory gets out a little bit sometimes is his hands will wander away from that line. Let's put another line on the shaft so we can just, just about see. So if we look at this initial takeaway, so he's coming out. The camera angle is moving a little bit, but not massively. So Rory is doing pretty good job there. Sometimes his hands will travel a little bit too far out, but for Rory, that's pretty, pretty good. Not all that head movement. That right butt cheeks move behind the line, which we like to see. From here, I'm going to put a line on this hip. This is something that quite unique to Rory. I'm going to put a line on the head as well. Let's just watch this takeaway. Rory's feel is that he likes to feel a lot of width in that initial part of the takeaway. Now what you'll see is something that has gone out of fashion a little bit, but that initial part, look look at that bump. It bumps his, that right hip really, probably an inch or two. Now that's something that's not really taught nowadays, but it does enable you to get the weight into that trail side. Look at that. I mean, the club's only travel back a couple of feet and he's really bumped into that right side. And then from here, that position in the takeaway, Rory likes a lot of width here, he likes to feel the strength, a uh, stretch, sorry, down his lat. And you can see how far that butt end away is, butt end of the club is away from his body. Look how far that, that club is away from him. And then he'll start to get a little bit of set now to halfway back. Look how he's moved into that. A lot's been taught um, recently about if there was sort of a line here that you should almost have a golf ball in between there, but Rory really sits into that trail hip. You see down the line, he starts to set. So he's got a little bit of set here. So let me just, there. So as his arm is parallel, left arm parallel to the ground, you'll see he's almost got about 90 degrees of wrist set there. He's moved, 
doesn't move an awful lot with his head behind the ball. It has to has started to rotate. That's just the cervical spine starting to rotate. That upper part of the the back or the the neck. That's why his 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 um, head has moved there. And then he's not lost. Rory sometimes loses a lot of height, but again he's keeping his height here. Then we wind it up to the top of the swing. So he's set set set. He's quite flat for a lot of guys but Rory is he's not the tallest in the world he's probably 5'8 five, 5'9 five, so if we just just look at that top position what you'll see is his butt does come a little bit away so you can see and basically what this is so let me just draw a line on here Rory's butt is going a little bit this way at the start or at the end of his backswing, but this is the start of his downswing almost, because why that is occurring, because he's pushing so hard with this right leg, so that is actually starting to move his hips now, that's why he starts to push off and early extend, and a lot of player people, coaches will say don't early extend, McElroy does it, he's pretty good, but it's also, if you could say maybe why he's a little bit inconsistent, but we'll see, watch, 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 his head starts to move a little bit closer to the ball. But overall, that backswing position, let me just clear a couple of lines off. Phenomenal. He can get a little bit across the line sometimes, Rory. But like, look at that club face position. A really nice club face position. And like, it's just a beautiful top of the backswing. Sometimes as well, you probably say, it's hard to see with camera angles, but his shoulder plane is a little bit flat. That's something that Rory does like to work on. He likes to feel that shoulder work under the chin, get a little bit steeper, which will get his hands a little bit higher. That's something that he does work on because he has got the tendency working a little bit too flat with the, the hips and the shoulders. That's going to get the club behind him, and then when he early extend, that's going to drop the club even more behind him. So face, face on, we look, look at this wind up. This is the bit that we talked about that transition in the downswing what you're going to see is you'll start to really really move that knee this way move the hip open up everything and the club almost just sits there look look he's still going back still going back but look at that look at that move there look at that squat down it's something that we see in a lot of powerful players look how much that hip let me just clear these few lines off look how much this the space between them as he starts to drive drive he's, he's going down this way going down this way and turning that way at the same time it's incredibly powerful motion you can really see it from the face on look down and then what he's going to do he's going to then start firing up but what this enables him to do is when he starts to drive here that gets so much energy and momentum look at that club head Look at how much lag he's got there. So you can see, look, look from that, that position. He's dropped a great deal there. Let me just clear a few more lines off there. So you can see how much down, down. And you can see from this line. So I'll just redraw them, actually. So you can see, look, how much he's dropped down and starts to back. Up, which is getting that positive attack angle drop down now Rory gets quite deep with his hand path he's quite behind that trail shoulder or trail elbow does get quite behind his body which can cause a lot of issues but Rory does a very cool little matchup which we'll talk about which is he rotates like nobody else on tour and that's how he is able to get that right arm a little bit more behind him than most guys most guys can't play like that because they don't have the rotational capabilities of McElroy if they did a lot of guys like a Justin Thomas uh, Cam Smith even Adam Scott when this hands so deep because they don't rotate as much they will then tilt and that would just get the plane way off and it's you'd start swinging too far into out but Rory what Rory does here I mean, look at that rotation. Look. And you can see he's, he's early extended quite a bit, which is why those hands are so deep. But what Rory does now is he really fires up with this left hip. It's going to go up and back. So watch it from down the line. 
I'm going to actually clear all these lines off just to make it easier. So he's going to fire up. Can you see that movement? Let me just draw a line on the hips. Look at the belt. Look at what's happening. Look, drive that and it's up. Drive down and up. And that's what happens with the powerful guys. Look at that line there. Drop then up. That's where the speed comes from. He's stretching all those muscles and that fascia and it creates a very powerful move where it's driving down and up. He's pushing through the ground, through his left big toe. And what we can see from face on, watch this foot. So he's pushing hard, pushing hard, pushing hard, and then he's pushing, snaps that left leg. Look at that, that angle, that Look at that left leg. Look how much it pushes up. Look, push up. Push up. His head starts to back up. That's giving him his positive attack angle. Look at that slide there. So he's Rory, I'd say, on a pressure trace. I've never actually had the, the delight of seeing Rory's pressure trace. But I'd assume that he gets quite a lot of weight into this toe in the downswing. Because if you look, it doesn't really... He just, he can, you can s probably just see this is where he's going after it. His heel's a little bit up, which is unusual. Unusual for a lot of guys, so I'll just get a little circle tool. So watch that heel. And you see how it's just slightly up in the air, and that's why his foot rotates. You'd see a lot of guys, look at it, it's almost pointing at the target now. And you'd see a lot of guys actually roll onto the trail, onto the um, onto the heel here, but Rory just spins out now if Rory got a little bit more into the heel he wouldn't early extend as much but it's a match up because what Rory does is it's quite quite deep here but then he fires his chest and his hips and opens up massively and then that squares the club face up and squares the path if Rory stops rotating it look how open he is there look massive massively open look how far Shoulders and hips are pointing to the left. That's not normal. <laughs> like, don't try and copy this. If if you're not got Rory McIlroy's speed or flexibility, you you can't get that deep and play good golf unless you you know really slow down or do some funky things. But Rory just rips it. Look at that, rips it through. That's how he's able to get all the speed. And then his finish is just a, it's just a result of those things there. I mean, look. Look, even let's just bring that back up to talk about this early extension from the top. Look, so watch, watch, watch through, and he's really, he's quite early extended quite a lot, which is quite unusual, but he's, he he matches it up perfectly. That's why Rory generally plays a big high draw because he does early extend, gets the path. Sometimes I think with driver, his numbers are sort of five degrees into out, but he's hitting up on it. And he gets that big, nice draw, and he can control it. When Rory gets a little bit off, he does generally try and work on a little cut, just to just to sign neutralize that that path a little bit, and then that'll help him a little bit with the early extension. But I mean, look at that! Look at that! That transition. That's the money maker. Look how if you were to put, he'll just bring it back here. If you were to put a sponge or anything between his left arm and his rib cage, he'd be squeezing that loads here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Look how much that shoulder drops. He's basically what he's doing from that move is rotating his rib cage into his arm. Rib cage into his arm. Pressure down. That creates a stretch on these muscles around the shoulder blade. You've got another stretch. Look at look that transition. You've got a stretch in the obliques. You've got a stretch around the knees. He's creating all these micro stre stretches. It's like like an elastic band almost firing, but he's doing it at multiple joints. Watch as well. Stretch on the wrist. Look at that lag. Clear those lines off. All those little stretches with the combination of that hip drive up is creating that speed. And then finally here all just releases it's like an elastic band snapping i mean rory look at that lag there boom club face down hit snap look at that release you know he's not holding it off he, can you see how he's really hitting it hard with his right hand look at those legs driving up that's how rory is enabled to hit it so far he's not the biggest guy 
5859 pounds but he's just giving every possibility or every option should i say to generate speed he's getting all those stretches he's getting the leg drive which he has to because he's he's not the tallest guy you put him in a six foot four 230 pound body wow those ball speeds would be frightening but what's most impressive like we said at the start look, he's not he's not falling over like, he holds this finish you watch any highlights package rory's holding holding that finish holding it it's just a phenomenal swing it's not one that you should copy i mean you should never really copy anybody's swing because your bodies are all different but rory especially it's so unique he he is a unicorn as sean foley would say he says that about a lot of the guys you know these guys are unicorns rory is very much that way if you get his 3d data there is nobody at impact that opens up this much this quick you know it's just not a move that you're going to see anybody copying or they should copy because it's so unique to rory but what what a phenomenal talent and just a great swing and i don't think there's many players that are more fun to watch when rory's on form